Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I am going to cover IEC timers in the TIA Portal software. I'm going to open up the main program block, OB1. I'm going to go to Network 5 and enter in a title, IEC Timer. In the basic instructions area, I will select Timer Operations. You have a variety of timer operations that are available to be used. I'm going to hover over the T on instruction, and that will bring up the help for the on delay timer. I will bring the T on instruction into the ladder editor, and I will be presented with the call options dialog box. This is where I can pick single instance, multi instance, or parameter instance, depending on where this block is being called from. In this case, I only have the option to do single instance, so I will select the default name for the instance data block. Next, I will move over to the project tree and select System Blocks and Program Resources. This is where the instance data block is created, so you can see the individual elements that make up the instance data block. Next, I will change my zoom level so that I can make the ladder logic a little bit easier to see. For the in parameter, I'm going to use a normally open contact. This is going to trigger the start of the on delay timer. For this, I will type the letter S and then pick switch 4 to start the on delay timer. Next, I will enter in the PT, or the preset time for the timer. This is going to be in the time format. So I will enter in a preset value of T pound, and then 3S for 3 seconds. So this will give me a 3 second on delay timer. Up in the comment area, I will enter in some information on the format for the timer preset value. So you can enter in a preset value with a number of different durations. So you can do things like T pound, 1D for one day, 2H for two hours, 3M for three minutes, 4S for four seconds, and 250MS for 250 milliseconds. So for the PT, I could enter in 1M, 3S for one minute, three second timer. So I'm going to select Help and Show Help. I previously created a favorite for the IEC timer uh, time data type. So I'm going to select Time. And then here is more detailed information. So I'm pressing the synchronize button so you can see where that shows up in the overall help tree. So this gives you more detailed information on the time format. So I will close out the help. For the queue, which is the output, I will enter in a coil instruction. The output will come on when the elapsed time has expired. So I will select light four. For the elapsed time, I will enter in a variable, my current time. So that tag does not exist. So I will right click on the tag and select define tag. For the section of memory, I will select the global memory. So this is in the M memory region. It will pick the next available address and I will enter in a comment that says this is the elapsed time. Then I will select define so that I created that tag in the default tag table. Next, I will save my project, and I will download my changes into the device. In this case, I am going to load, and I'm going to continue without synchronization, and select load. Now I will start monitoring. Now I will flip switch 4. So a false to true transition will start the timer timing. After the elapsed time, light 4 will come on. Now I will turn switch 4 off and then turn it on and then off quickly before the elapsed time is reached. So the timer automatically resets in that case. I will turn monitoring off, go offline, and I'm going to select the T on instruction and switch from an on delay timer to an off delay timer by clicking the triangle in the upper right hand corner and selecting the T off instruction. Now I will save my changes and download to the PLC. So I will select yes to overwrite the block. Start monitoring. Now in this case, I will turn switch four on. The output immediately comes on. When I turn switch four off, the off delay starts after the time has expired, light four will turn off. I will stop monitoring and go offline. And this concludes the lesson on IEC timers.